All right, now we're on section 2.2, .2, the inverse of a matrix. Uh, we just briefly introduce how to find the inverse matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix. Well, let's look at some motivation here. In algebra, if we want to find, solve an equation, let's say 5x equal to 1, we would multiply the inverse, or the reciprocal if you like, of 5, which is 1 fifth, on both sides of the equation to obtain 1 fifth times one fifth times five x, the right hand side is one fifth times one, so the solution is x equal to one fifth. So we say one fifth is the inverse, added to inverse of five. All right, so now we look at a matrix algebra to, all right, to solve for x1 and x2 in a system of a linear equation, let's say this, three x1 plus four x2 equals to three, five x1 plus six x2 equals to seven, we can look at this equation as solving the matrix algebra. Let's see. So we had the ma uh, coefficient matrix 3, 4, 5, 6 times x1, x2 equal to 3, 7. All right, to solve this one, we can use the elementary row operation to find the reduced echelon form of the augmented, ma augmented matrix. All right. Also, we can do it a different way, differently. All right. If we, so to, to use uh, the previous method that we have learned, we will do it this way. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 3, 7. So through a series uh, operation, we can say, hey, this becomes something like this. And we have some number here. And these will be the solutions on the right hand side. Well, we're going to have a different approach this time. If we can find a matrix, say a to the inverse, a inverse, okay, such that a inverse times three, four, five, six, and this as a result as a identity matrix. All right, so left hand side, this is simply called x1, x2. And the right hand side is simply this matrix times three, seven is going to result into a uh, two two by one matrix. Then we will have something like a x1, x2 equal to this. That will be the answer for the, to the system of linear equations. So our goal now is to try to find this A inverse. So what's A inverse? A inverse time, three, four, five, six. As a result, it's an identity matrix, which is one, zero, zero, one. So if this matrix multiplied by because it's an identity matrix, that should give you x1, x2. So the left hand side of this equation will be x1, x2. The right hand side will just be the answer for x1, x, the solution to x1, x2. So in this section, we are set up to find a1, a, a, a inverse. All right, so an n by n matrix, so in order to have inverse matrix, uh, you had, we had to be a square matrix, so it's n by n. Uh, you cannot have a 2 by 3 or 3 by 2. You have to be either 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. All right, and n by n matrix is said to be invertible, meaning if there is a such a thing, so n times uh, n by n matrix C such that C times A equals identity matrix, or A times C equals identity matrix. Right here, I just simply equals to identity matrix simply is 1 on diagonal and 0 everywhere else. Okay, all right, for example, let 3, 4, 5, 6 to be A, then this matrix, negative 3, 2, 5, three, uh, five and a half, negative 3 half is the inverse of A. Okay, so we can say, how do we know? Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's go ahead and multiply by negative 3, 2, 5 and a half, negative 3 and a half. All right, let's see what that equals to. The first one will be 3 times 3, which is negative 9. And 4 times that will be 10. And 3 times 2 minus 4 times the uh, minus 3 half will be negative 6. And 5 times 6, that will be negative 15. Well, 5 times 5 and a half, that's plus 15. And 5 times 2 is 10. Minus 6 times that will be canceled out, be minus 9. So it ended up with 1, 0, 0, 1. 
you can reverse them. You can use this matrix times A, C times A, you should have the same result. As a result, we call C, the C right here is the inverse of A. In fact, this inverse matrix is unique, determined by A. So if, if uh, a matrix has an inverse, it is unique. It's only one in, uh, inverse matrix. Okay, so um, so this inverse unique inverse matrix either multiplied by the left hand side or the right hand side, the result is always identity matrix. All right. So here is how do we find a inverse matrix of a matrix of a two by two matrix? All right. Here, if A D, so if you have a, a matrix A B C D, if A D, the diagonal line minus B C is not equal to zero. Then the A is invertible, then the inverse matrix will be 1 over AD minus BC. And you notice that A and D change places. C and B, however, does not change places, simply what? Change sign. All right, so just a set way to do that. What you ask, what if AD minus BC equal to 0? Then we will say A is not invertible. That, that, that means inverse matrix does not, does not exist. Okay. So the quantity AD minus BC is called a determinant. Sometimes we will have this uh, line. This is going to come back later. Determinant DETA equal to AD minus BC. Okay. So if the determinant is non-zero, then the A is invertible. Otherwise, if the determinant is zero, then uh, A is not invertible. This, this is strictly speaking for the two by two matrix. Let's look at an example here. All right. Find, a, find an inverse matrix of 3, 4, 5, 6. So in here, so A, D, so it's 3 times 6 minus what? Minus uh, B and C, five, and, uh, 5 times 4. And then you notice that 3 and 6 exchange places, and uh, 4 and 5 had to change what? Had to change sign. All right, so here, 18 minus 20, we get negative 2 at the bottom. All right, have this one. As, you, as a result, you multiply that, we get negative 3, 2, 5 and a half, negative 3 and a half. You notice that? Check your work. Well, we did that one ago. Look at this. That's exactly what this is. So that's how you find the inverse matrix of a 2 by 2 matrix.